So my name is Avril Morgan. I'm 41 years old and I'm a teacher in Lanesia South. I'm a high school teacher, grade 10 to 12. I grew up in Lanesia. Uh, I've lived there in the same area all my life. I grew up in an Indian area, which, which is only Indians. So we, we saw how differently the Indians lived, but I must say, at least it wasn't as bad for us as it was for the black people. But we, we also experienced difficulties because we weren't allowed to do a lot that, that the white people were allowed to do. So I was a small child at the time, but I, I did see the differences. I saw the segregation, I saw the separation, and even in schools. I was fortunate enough to attend a, a Catholic school, which was an interracial school, so, so I at least got to have friends of other races. But a lot of my fr other friends were from home, and my brothers didn't get to have friends. For, for me, the biggest thing is the change in the schools. Because for me, having gone to a multiracial school was different. But I saw all other different schools. But now, every single school is an interracial school. There is no longer a white school or an Indian school. So for me, that's the biggest difference that, that I've seen. And I think it's the best difference that we do. It's up to us to shape the mind and to show them. But like we were saying in this project, it's important for us to show them where they come from, where we come from, the struggles that we went through, so that they can appreciate the times they live in. Because we know South Africa would have been a totally different country had we not had apartheid. People that are poor might have been richer. People who are not educated might have been educated. We don't know the differences we would have had from 1948 to now. You know, we, we only got it from 94, but imagine that we had all of that in 1948 already. This would be a totally different place. We, I would be a different person. You would be a different person. And we, those children need to appreciate that. And they need to now take it forward so that we never ever go back to where we were. What I've learned is that the children do want to learn, and, and that's so important. I'm, I'm, I'm so amazed at the way, you know, it's from grade 9 to grade 11, these learners, and it's amazing to see that they do want the information. It's amazing to see the information that they find, and also to listen to the stories that they do come and tell us about, stories that we, we don't even know. And it's interesting, it's exciting, it makes you want to find more out. And it shows that our learners are also the, the, the critical thinkers. And you know, as long as you can think for yourself, you, can, you will never allow somebody to dominate you again. And that's the one thing we were deprived of as a, under apartheid, isn't it? Was the right to think for yourself. Now that we can think, nobody needs to tell us what to do with it. We have the best story in the world to tell, I think, because like I said, we could have been so different to what we are now. Our shape, our past has shaped us. We are here because of apartheid.